Hello guys, welcome to the maths panel of the GCU Online. In this particular paper, we are looking at June 2015, paper two, advanced level mathematics, statistics, and mathematics mechanics. And we will be tackling questions one to 10. I implore your indulgence to watch this paper to the end. And you can click on the link below to have this question paper and to have solutions for other things. In course of the video, I will enlighten you on many other things. Question one reads, given that X minus one is a factor of the polynomial F of X, where F of X equals A X to the power four plus X to the power three minus twelve X squared minus X plus two, find the value of the constant A and verify that F of minus one equals zero. Sub two, find the value of the constant K for which the equation X squared plus K plus one X plus K equals zero has one, root double the order guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel because there are a lot of our videos which you will not be able to see if you are not subscribed some of our videos can be seen only by those who have subscribed if you doubt you can ask from those who have subscribed to this channel and when you subscribe don't forget to click on the notifications so that immediately you upload a new video you are reminded please guys share this video to different facebook whatsapp groups twitter groups and so on to motivate us to produce more videos so this question to begin with since x minus one is a factor of this polynomial we can use this idea of it being a factor to find the value of the constant a so from here x minus one equals zero and this will imply that x is equal to one and since x minus one is a factor it therefore means that x equals one is a root. Therefore, f of one should give us zero. Let's substitute this in the equation and see what happens. This will give us a into one to the power four plus one to the power three minus 12 into one squared minus one plus two equals zero. And from here, we will have a plus one minus 12 minus one plus two to be equal to zero, and this gives us a to be equal to 10. So this gives us a to be equal to 10, right? Now let's verify that f of one of negative one is equal to zero. To do this verification, we are just going to substitute x by uh, negative one. Note that we are going to use the value of a since we already have this value of a. So from here, we have 10 into minus one to the power four, plus minus one to the power three minus 12 into minus one squared plus one plus two to be equal to 10 minus one minus 12 plus one plus two. And this is equal to zero. So it is verified. So F of minus one is equal to zero as required. So another way to say this is to say, show that or prove that. So any of these things uh, uh, can be used and uh, the end you conclude by saying verified or as required now the sub two of the equation reads find the value of the constant k for which the equation x squared plus k plus one x plus k equals zero has one root double the other it means that if one root is one the other root should be two if one root is three the other root should be six now that we don't know this root you say let this root be alpha so if the first root is alpha the second root should be two times that root that is two alpha and from here the sum of roots will be two alpha plus alpha which is three alpha and the product of root to be two alpha times alpha, which is two alpha squared. We can now form an equation in the form x squared minus sum of roots plus product to be identical to x squared plus k plus one x plus k. So x squared plus k plus one x plus k should be identical to x squared minus a sum of roots here, which is three alpha x plus product of roots, which is two alpha squared. From these two equating the coefficients of x, we will have three alpha to be equal to minus into k plus one. And from here, we equally have k to be equal to two alpha squared. From these two, we can uh, make alpha the subject of the formula and substitute. So using the first equation, make alpha the subject of the formula will give us minus one third into k plus one. We substitute into the second equation that will give us k to be equal to two into we now replace alpha by that value, which is minus a third of k plus one. And all of that is squared. So this will imply k is equal to two over nine into k squared plus two k plus 
one. So this gives us nine k is equal to two k squared plus four k plus two. And this will give us a quadratic equation, two k squared minus five k plus two equals zero. When factorized, we have k minus two into two k minus one equals zero. And the values of k will be k equals two or k equals a half. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's very important to subscribe because that is what makes uh, motivate us to make more videos. From your subscription, we will know that what we are doing is what you need. And from those subscriptions, it will motivate us to make more videos. Equally, when we see that you have shared our videos, we will equally continue to make more because from these shares, it means that you know that there are people are in need of these videos and you are sharing to them. Equally, from your comments, we will know what next to do. Are you interested in lessons, a different corrections, not just mathematics? Leave your comments down in the comment section and we will know how better we can serve you more. Subscribe, click on the notifications, share our videos and leave your comments. Let's now move to question two and to have complete corrections for all of our videos, just visit our website. You can see it on screen, www.gcemathpanel.blogspot.com. Why? Because most of our videos we don't put on YouTube, but we put on this website. So if you go there, you are going to see corrections for all the other years, paper one, paper two, and paper three. Do well to visit it. And from there, you can join our WhatsApp groups to prepare for the GCE. These groups run from ending August every year up to two weeks or one week before the GCE. Join us now for our live Zoom classes and WhatsApp classes. Question two reads, show that sine theta plus sine two theta, all that on one plus cos theta plus cos two theta equals tan theta. Sub two, find the general solution of the equation sine four x plus cos two x equals zero. Thirdly, solve for x in the range from zero to 180 degrees, the equation sine three x plus cos x equals zero. So we begin with the first part of this question. We are going to work with the left-hand side until we have the right-hand side. So with the left-hand side, we have sine theta plus sine two theta all that on one plus cos theta plus cos two theta. And what does this give us? So from here, we work with the right-hand side until we have the left-hand side. And this will give us, so this gives us sine theta plus sine two sine theta cos theta all that on one plus cos theta plus two cos squared theta minus one. And from here, equally, we can factorize uh, sine theta in the numerator and factorize cos theta in the denominator. And note that in this denominator, one minus one will be equal to zero. So we left just with cos theta plus two cos squared theta. So this will give us sine theta into one plus two cos theta, all this on cos theta into one plus two cos theta. Now this cos theta will cancel out with cos theta and we'll be left just with sine theta on cos theta, which is equal to tan theta, which is equal to the right-hand side as required. So this is the A part of this question, guys. And for you to have a complete solution for all of this equation paper from question one to 10, visit our website now. There's a link in the description below. Click on that link and it will take you to the page where you have the complete correction. Equal on that website, you will have past questions for all the different years and the different subjects. And equal on that website, if you go and look at a certain link called join, you can join us for our Zoom live classes, for our Meet live classes, and join our WhatsApp groups to prepare for GCE, not just for mathematics, but equally for other subjects. Now let's look at the B part of this question. Find the general solution of the equation sine 4x plus cos 2x equals zero. We know that sine four x is the same as two sine uh, two x cos two x, so plus cos two x equals zero. And this will give us cos two x into two sine two x plus one equals zero. From here, cos two x equals zero or sine two x equals negative a half. For cos two x equals zero, two x, the general solution will be equal to, because the primary value of a uh, cos zero is, um, what's it, 90 degrees, right? So from here, we will have two x equal to two n pi plus, pi on two, pi on two, which is 90 degrees. And since we are looking for X, X will be equal to N pi plus or minus pi on four, where N is an element of the set of integers. Now if we sign two X equals minus a half, the general solution will be two X equals N pi minus 
minus one to the power n pi on six. You can see this uh, general formula from your formula booklet and from other sources which you have. So divide all through by two, you have n pi on two minus, minus one to the power n pi on 12. So this is a solution of sub two. Now let's move to sub three, solve for x, where x lies between zero and 180 degrees, the equation sine three x plus cos x equals zero. Now, a lot of students had a lot of problems with this particular question and many of them could not solve it. What you have to use here, it will be better for you to convert from this sum of these ratios to product. This will make your work very easy. So we can write sine uh, cos x as sine 90 minus x. So this is the first step. We write cos x as sine 90 minus x. Now we now have uh, sine a plus sine b is equal to two sine a plus b on two cos a minus b on two. So we use this identity to transform this into two sine three x plus 90 minus x on two cos three x minus 90 plus x on two. So the minus has made this one to become positive here, okay? So this is minus 90 uh, minus x. This two minus make this one now to become a plus or that's the product. So from here, this is equal to zero. And from this step, we have two sine x plus 45 degrees cos two x minus 45 degrees equals zero. From here, sine x plus 45 degrees equals zero or cos two x minus 45 degrees equals zero. And this gives us the values of x plus 45 degrees to be zero or 180 degrees. And that for cos to be two x minus 45 degrees to be 90 and, and the secondary uh, value is 270. Making x the subject of the formula in the first one, we have 135 degrees. We are not using the negative 45 degrees. That's because it's outside the range that is required. And for the cost, we have two x to be equal to 135 degrees and 315 degrees. The degree is not there, but you're supposed to put it. When we divide by two, we give us 67.5 degrees and 157.5 degrees. So these are the solutions in this interval from zero to 180 degrees. Guys, Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That is number one. And number two, there is a bell on, your, on, this, on, on this video. Click on that bell. That bell is called the notifications bell because if you don't click on that bell after subscribing, when we upload a new video, you will not be notified. So immediately we upload a new, new video and you have click on that bell, you will be notified. Secondly, not all our videos are on YouTube. So you have to visit our website to get some of them. Equally, for those of you who have not subscribed, you are missing out a lot because there are most, some of our videos on YouTube which you would not be able to watch if you have not subscribed. Only those who have subscribed to our channel can see those videos. You can ask your friends who have subscribed and you will find out that what you are saying is true. So you can equally visit our website and you have tutorials for past GCE for the past years. You will have past questions and solutions. You will have notes in mathematics and other subjects on level and A level, and you have a lot more. Guys, please subscribe to our channel share our videos, click on our notifications, and leave your comments. We wish you the best as your friends write the GCE. May God bless you abundantly as you subscribe as well and share our videos and leave your comments. And the A grades are not far from you. They are there with you. May God bless you and bye-bye.